Imagine that one of these houses represents $1,000, and all the other houses represent $10,000. And finally, all these small houses represent a million dollars. Billionaire Elon Musk has an estimated net worth of $188 billion, which is equivalent to 188,000 times the value of these houses you just saw. Now, imagine you're an average 9 to 5 worker, drowning in debt, unable to remember the last time you put $500 into your savings account. You're currently struggling to pay your mortgage and credit card debts, tired of paying taxes, and don't even understand why you have to pay them in the first place. That's not all. Your dream of traveling the world, fulfilling your desires, and living your best life is slowly fading because you feel that the more you work, the less money you make. In this way, you end up believing that making money and becoming as rich as you wished only happens in movies, and it seemed like the wealthy had to have done something illegal or dishonest to amass such wealth. With these thoughts, you join the 99% of the world's population who believe that making money or being successful is unattainable, and to be successful, you need luck. To have been born into a wealthy family, to deceive the government, or to do something illegal, in reality, a significant percentage of us work hard, pay our debts and taxes, but at the end of the day, there's nothing left. Slowly, our ambitions to make money, become wealthy, buy a new house, and finally pay off the mortgage, begin to fade. It all becomes just a distant wish, because there's no such thing as getting rich, and the to-do list can't be outsourced. But what if I told you that you have a distorted perception of money? And that's why you'll never be successful. Have you ever felt like the path to financial freedom is an impossibly difficult road to travel? No matter how hard you try, how much effort you put in, you can't seem to get there. Well, what if I also told you that you're wrong? There is a formula for wealth and a way to achieve financial freedom. And that's what we're going to show you today. A journey full of ups and downs awaits you. You must interrupt and ignore societal advice. But I must warn you from now that only a few will reach the end of this road. However, for those who do, the rewards will be immense. You will have the freedom to never worry about your financial situation again. If you've been chasing money for a long time, it's highly possible that your guru has brainwashed you. They tell you that you have to work hard, save a lot of money, try different things, take on as many jobs as possible to make as much money as possible. And you may have thought, Oh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, after all. If I want to make money, then I need to work hard, change jobs, and save as much as I can. After years of doing different jobs, overworking, and saving repeatedly, suddenly you realize like a bolt of lightning that if you're going to get rich, it won't be this way. You realize that saving to get rich seems like an impossible chance to make the kind of money you want. You look around and see that you're getting older, the years are passing, your bank account, your standard of living, aren't improving, and if you've done the math, you already know it would take a lifetime to achieve your financial goals, travel, and live the life you've always wanted. If you've reached this stage of discovery, then congratulations. You finally understood that just saving money, doing various jobs, and working hard won't make you rich. Whether you work 70 hours a week, take on three jobs a day, or save every penny you earn. And the bitter truth is that your guru lied to you. He or she psychologically brainwashed you and programmed you to think that chasing money, saving, and all the other things you were doing before were your ticket to getting rich. There is in fact only one proven path, the same path that billionaires like Oprah Winfrey, Warren Buffett, Sarah Blakely, Elon Musk, used to become as wealthy as they are today. And the commonality among their names is that they are all self-made billionaires, meaning they built their wealth from scratch and worked hard to reach the top. You know what that means? It means you can do it too. Your dreams don't have to die. You can become as rich as you've always wished, but you won't get it all by chasing money. I bet you're now wondering if chasing money, saving money and working hard won't make me rich. What will? I'll tell you, but before that, you should know that it's very natural that when you're in pursuit of money, you may find yourself switching from one means to another to get the amount of money you're looking for to meet your needs. Almost everyone believes this is the path to success. Go to school, get good grades, graduate, find a decent job, save money, invest the small amount left from your salary, and when you're 60, 
you'll be rich. But that's not all. If you're aiming to be as wealthy as possible, you won't make money that way. If you thought you could make money that way, then you've indirectly been caught in the rat race, where you want to catch it at all costs, and every time you chase it through the neighborhood, it escapes from you, rendering all your efforts useless. This is an indication that you've been doing things wrong because merely chasing money won't make you rich. But if you stop chasing money and instead attract it, you wouldn't need to spend all your time in pursuit. Let's now break this down step by step. To make the kind of money you desire, you need to stop chasing money, but start chasing needs. By pursuing needs, you keep your eyes open for what the people around you need, and as soon as you figure out what those needs are, you should go ahead and satisfy them in exchange for something you need. This makes it a win-win situation for you and the people you provide services to. Note that this way, you're not out there chasing money. Instead, it comes to you as a result of the solutions you've provided to people. You can do this by creating businesses that solve needs. It's simple. Look around and see what people genuinely need. While doing so, make sure your business is scalable and not limited to one location. If you're a math tutor, giving in-person lessons and teaching only a small number of people won't make you as rich as you desire. Instead, turning your lessons into an online course that you can sell to thousands of people around the world will earn you more money in less time. That said, don't start a business just because your neighbor just opened one or because you thought of a side activity. Instead, start a business with the intention of addressing people's needs, make it scalable, and money will come to you. If your business provides value, then you're on the right path. By offering value and solving problems that consumers deal with daily, you attract money, which they will give you in exchange for the value you provide. Regardless of whether your business offers a service or a product, it's essential that it addresses issues and meets people's needs. To be realistic, people or consumers don't care about your dream, don't care about who you want to prove wrong. People don't want to hear about your selfish desire to get rich or follow what you love to become rich. People care about what your business can offer them so they can solve their needs. They will care if you make their lives easier, if you educate them or add value to their lives. For people, it's all about what's in it for me. So when you want to start a business or a source of income, never put money first. Instead, you should ask yourself, why should people care about what I'm doing? And am I providing something valuable for them to benefit from? Once you can answer these questions, then you're on the right path to attracting money. In the world of money, it's true that the more problems you solve and the more value you provide, the more money you attract. If you solve a $100 problem, you attract $100. If you solve a $1,000 problem, you attract $1,000. The more problems you solve, value you provide, needs you meet, and solutions you offer, the more money you earn. This is the secret to getting rich. Drop the notion that says, to have money follow, you have to do what you love. Unless what you love is problem solving, providing value, and meeting the needs of the people around you and society in general, you can do it. But if you don't, you should focus more on things that will benefit others while also generating money for you. Always remember that doing what you love puts you in a crowded market with reduced profit margins and significant competition. However, if you can outperform your competitors by doing a better job than them and offering people what other businesses or markets aren't providing, then you can stand out in the competition. Furthermore, you don't need to create a business or a product from scratch. Instead, Find a market with low competition and do better than your competitors. For example, let's take the most popular social media platforms today, Instagram and TikTok. Who could have imagined that an app that seemed to be a copy of Instagram would go viral and become Instagram's biggest competitor? Ironically, TikTok forced Instagram to create Instagram Reels to keep up with TikTok's growth. TikTok is a social media platform where users go for entertainment purposes mainly to watch random funny videos, short tutorials, narrative stories, and even educational content. A significant role in this battle was marketing strategy. What TikTok did was find a market with low competition and outperform Instagram. That's what I'm talking about. Your idea or business doesn't have to be entirely new. You can be the next TikTok. All you need to do is find your Instagram and do better. 
Don't think about being the first to build the first time machine. Instead, find a way to improve what's already available. The richest among us are those who give more of themselves to others and are always looking for ways to provide value to the world. For some of us, this game is not a game of money, but a game of freedom. The freedom to travel the world, the freedom not to have to wake up at 6 a.m. to go to work, the freedom to do all the fun things you want, the freedom to spend time with your loved ones without waiting until retirement to live your best life, and the freedom to have the cars or other things you like to have. That's the freedom I'm talking about. Being rich is not just about the feeling you will have in return, but about the freedom it provides in return. Don't forget that the degree to which you can get rich is directly related to the value you offer, the solutions you provide, and the needs you meet. This is the ultimate equation for becoming rich. So, stop chasing money, start finding problems, and providing solutions to people's needs. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. I hope this video has helped you generate ideas and not give up on your dream of achieving financial freedom. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss new content. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.